Hi everyone, hope you are doing great. I hope you followed through the whole project and you really enjoyed it. Now is the time to deploy the project and this is very important step. Not only in this video we are going to see how we deploy a website, I'll also show you how we upload your code to the GitHub and make your own repository for the project. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's start deploying our website. For doing that, just go to your Google and just type Netlify. Netlify. Yeah, this is the spelling, right? Netlify. So this is the free service you can use in order to deploy your static websites on any other or any other project you want to deploy here. So just go to their website, click login. You can you of course have to sign up if you are coming to this website for the first time. I will click login because right. So here we see an option to add a site, right? But to do that, we actually need to create a GitHub repository because it is asking us to connect GitHub, right? So let's do that quickly. So in order to like upload all this, I'll just take this project. So project part four, I'll just copy this folder. So let's just do reveal in file explorer. So this is this folder. I'll just copy this folder inside some other folder. Let's say in this folder, I'll just uh, paste this folder, right? And let's just do a HTML project. Okay, let's just name it and I'll just say portfolio, right? I'll just say portfolio, HTML portfolio, right? All right. So let's create a repository with the same name, right? Oh, uh, F should be small, right? So now just close your VS code, right? And uh, left click uh, and uh, sorry, right click on this and just click open with code. So now this folder is your website which will be opened in with vs code right you can see it is working just fine every file has been copied here right and now it is ready to be deployed correct okay so it is it is important to get this into different folders so that i just want these files to be deployed not all the project files right now what i want just open terminal so for doing that just control plus back tick so back tick is the button which is below your escape key if you are a windows user okay. uh, back ticks look like this right it's just near, like to the left of button one right so this is back tick button or you can also do uh, i think you can go from here and you can also open terminal so just click new terminal right so you can see i have opened a new terminal and it is in the directory right what what you do is first you type git in it so git i n i t git in it this initializes in a repository and you can see here everything is like untracked and track visitor after doing that right get sorry get add dot so this dot you should add right i'll just zoom in a little bit more so i've pressed get add dot and next command you write is get commit dash n and what you want to say is uh let's say first commit I think of course because you might have not uh, like logged in with git it may ask you to log in and you should have an account on github to do, to do that but after login these are the steps you need to follow right so i've committed all these files into my github repository now i want to create a new repository on the github right so let's go to github and here I'll create a new repository and then I link the both repositories. Let's go back to here. You can see here is the button new. Right, I'll click this and I'll just add this name HTML portfolio. Right. And you don't need to touch any more settings. Just leave it public and don't add a readme file. Just create repository. You need to click. So after clicking this button, this is the page. Uh, it will redirect you and you see that here are all the commands like which you need to insert in order to link the both the like remote repository with your local repository right just copy this from this button and the button which is here and you can just do control plus v paste and in the end also you need to enter all these commands so as you can see now the data is being uploaded and yep it is it has been uploaded just reload the same page you see all the files are present here now so your codes have been uploaded to github now now let's quickly see how to deploy 
your project on Netlify. So you need to come back onto the application dashboard on your Netlify and just click add new site import from an existing project. Just connect GitHub from here and it will ask for author authorization. In my case, it automatically authorized so HTML because I've already linked both of them. I just search my repositories or in all of my repositories. So this is the project I want to deploy so this is the repository name so the repository name you've entered here on github not the folder name is the github name. so branch to deploy you don't need to touch these commands just deploy site you need to click so let's see if it gets deployed so it is deploying your site correct no problem let's wait for it wait for it wait for it setting up a custom domain site is deployed now it's setting a custom domain so the domain name right great let's wait for it we have like we have not initialized any custom no domain name let it let it deploy the website and then we'll open this link okay so yeah i think that he it is being deployed so let's just click this link and see how our website looks now right so you can see our website is now deployed and as I scroll down you can see now the website is at a link right so so you can see now this is the link which is given to us you can of course uh, give it a custom domain name but for that the like domain name should be what you should have that domain name for example it's your website so just name it like ronsharma.com or whatever you like right here you of course need to add your picture right now I'm using all the random content because this is the generic content I can use you can definitely add your picture and your description and these are all the features our project is having. so now we have deployed the project and i hope you liked the whole series right from knowing what are the DAG tags to deploying a website and uploading your page on github and you can see like whatever commands we are using in github you can use those command to deploy any project in github so you can definitely save this video for future if you want those commands to stay with you right so the commands will be the same forever so to like anytime you need to upload some project just follow the steps in this video on github and you'll be able to do that you don't need to watch any other tutorials for learning it up right so yeah so this is it this is it this is the course and i hope you enjoyed and the journey we all took together and i hope you are now able to make good websites and i really hope that you expand on this project and you build this website fully to the to the limit like add your education add more sections you might want to add a download button and that that's that involves javascript but you can definitely know how to google stuff now right because you know what to search right so thanks for joining in and hope you enjoyed the project and the course as well thanks a lot for joining